Hello everyone, my name is Artem and I'm the author of Mock Service Worker. Today I would like to answer some of your questions from Twitter. And the first question is from Tiger. He asks, mocking real-time stuff, for example WebSockets, what are the challenges around that and uh, is it being worked on yet? That is an excellent question. I think WebSockets is one of the most requested and anticipated feature in MSW. Not only it's useful uh, by itself, but it may also potentially enable us to support things like GraphQL subscriptions, which makes it really useful. The reality is that WebSockets are rather complex, or to be more precise, the way they're implemented is complex. Because I had this initial implementation that's based on overriding the WebSocket class in the browser. And I thought that, hey, this is gonna be enough, but that's really very far from reality. So when I checked how people use WebSockets, they often use some third-party libraries like Socket.io. And what do you know, Socket.io doesn't actually use the WebSocket class of the browser under the hood by default. Because by default, it uses uh, XHR polling, so it still sends messages over HTTP. And then once I began investigating how Socket.io is implemented, I spotted on this uh, concept of transports, which is basically a different implementation of the WebSocket protocol and how the messages or events are transferred back and forth. And there are quite a few of those transports like XHR polling I mentioned, they can be WebSocket class. I don't really recall if they can be something else, but the, it just gave me the impression that to mock WebSockets correctly, we need to also support all those transports. I began working on this, I think around a year ago, and I have a substantial amount of work done, at least for in-browser interception. It's already on GitHub and there is a PR open, but there's still a lot to do in Node. But I'm happy that there's been a lot of uh, pre pre preparational work done before that, and it's already live for our Node.js interceptions. So it still needs time, but to be frank, I don't see that feature coming anytime soon, mainly because it really needs a lot of focus and I don't have that focus with a full-time job and having to maintain a few other projects. That's just not feasible. So I may try to find some additional time during the next year, but really no promises here. Let's see, let's see how it goes. So the next question is from Job. And he asks, is there any example of TypeScript support when running with node require flag? I think uh, what you're asking is whether you can require MSW with node and still use TypeScript. Uh, that's not gonna work because node cannot understand TypeScript and you need to choose one from two options. So option one is you require a common GS build of MSW that ships with it on NPM and that will work out of the box, but obviously you will have no type validation. The TypeScript will be gone. The other option is to use a different executable other than Node, so it supports TypeScript. For example, TS Node, we do that for you. In actuality, it will do this TypeScript to CommonJS or whichever format compilation behind the scenes, but it would also output you the type validation results so you would benefit from TypeScript. So choose one of those and you will be good to go. And another question is from Anders, and he asks if there are any plans on Cypress Playwright plugin. There is no plans as of now, but anybody is actually welcome to create such a plugin, contribute it to the ecosystem, and chances are maybe we can even adopt that plugin as a recommended solution, just as we did with Storybook add-on that we currently have for better Storybook integration. So by all means, if you uh, work with this and struggle with this, try creating this plugin and you can tag me and we can collaborate in it together and let's create something awesome. But it's not anywhere on my roadmap, so that's the status update. Okay, those were all the questions I got over this little episode and I hope to get more things asked as time goes by and see you all in another round of questions. Take care.